One hot and emerging graphic design trend of 2020 is the modernization and innovation of typography in graphic design. Now simply put, you're going to see a whole lot more of typography being used in very interesting ways this year. I'm going to give you the rundown of some of these uses and there's actually going to be a test at the very end of the video, so do follow along and absorb the typography goodness in today's video. Now typography is a huge part of graphic design, and I've said it before many times on this channel. And in fact, typography is a graphic design principle in of its own. So what is the big fuss in 2020? There actually are a few sectors of typography that will become and have already become trends within the graphic design world for 2020. So the first typography trend is the usage of thicker and bold fonts. Brands are starting to incorporate bold sans serif fonts to modernize their graphic designs. You will also see them on posters, on web designs, and even on package design too. Now when attempting to use bold and heavy fonts for your graphic designs, it's crucial to first select the right font family. Take a quick look at Aileron for example. It has a couple of pretty heavy fonts in the font family, the black and the heavy options being most notable. When actually applying the font to graphic designs, there are two good rules that you need to keep in mind. Now firstly, try to keep the super heavy fonts for short phrases or just a few simple words only. Overcrowding your design with too much heavy typography can be off-putting. Secondly, add in some thinner typography for contrast, and this will balance your design out to make it more visually appealing. Also, the heavy use of typography can act as a focal point and draw in a viewer as a visual starting point on your design. Another use of typography that you will see as a graphic design trend more in 2020 is the innovation of typography being used to create 2D and 3D shapes. Now this is innovation of design and it isn't something new as such, but the use of it becoming more and more popular is something new for the 21st century. The use of typography in terms of creating shapes and design elements can be very effective. However, like with any design, you really need to make sure the design fits the message of the brief. So don't go and simply make a cube of text just because it looks cool. There are many things you can do with typography in terms of shape. Some are subtle and some are really bold or imposing. But make sure to adhere to the other design principles while incorporating this trend. So use things like balance, focal points, contrast and so forth. But yeah, the brief is really important in every graphic design project that you embark on. So the third use of typography set to trend in 2020 is maxi typography. Now this actually has been a trend for 2019 and also a little bit back in 2018 as well. But it is going to bleed over to 2022, pun intended. Now maxi typography sort of links into the first edition in this video as it involves bold and heavy font use. Maxi is the use of typography that is so bold and heavy that it sometimes bleeds off the page and it really takes a center stage as a focal point. Sometimes other design elements will obscure parts of the lettering, giving it more intrigue and interest. The bold use of typography is often also flat with maxi type. So that means no gradients or 3D text when concerning maxi typography. Maxi type is also about getting the message across in the boldest and the most attention seeking way possible. Now before the test, we have one more aspect of typography that is set to trend in 2020, and that is the semi-transparent use of type on a graphic design. And this is something I've dabbled in myself over the years, so it's nice to see it become somewhat popular this year. Using semi-transparent typography is a good choice for typography being placed over a fairly busy design or an image. The typography effectively blends a composition and at the same time stays a significant element of the whole design. Now it's a nice way just to tie everything together and again a choice of bold font here is always a good move. So there was the rundown of typography trends in 2020 but how well were you listening? I'm going to throw some questions to you about today's content so you can test yourself on the tips and the stuff that you saw in today's video relating to typography trends in 2020. What are brands going to be using more and more to modernize their designs and their content in 2020?
Now what did I mention was a good practice for using heavy bold fonts? When creating 2D or 3D shapes with typography, what did I say was important? What was the second tip in the video for using heavy fonts? Including this year of 2020, how many years did I mention maxi typography has been a design trend for? What is a common aspect of maxi typography? When is it a good idea to use semi-transparent typography on your design? What does the use of semi-transparent text help to achieve? So there were eight questions and let me know how many you actually got right and also if you dig today's content. If you want to keep learning skills and to boost your awareness as a graphic designer, make sure to subscribe to my channel for weekly graphic design content. And if you do want to help out the channel, just share my videos on social media and spread the word of this channel. Until next time guys, it's on your future today. Peace.